opposition lawmakers are demanding the resignation of Veterans Affairs Minister Mio Tsunoya. He's only been in office since Monday and he's already in the hot seat. The address listed in his official documents is not the address where he actually resides, which would give him a fair amount of tax benefits. Falsely declaring one's place of residence is illegal. Sunoya denies that his intention was to evade paying higher taxes. He is sticking to his position that he has done nothing wrong. He adds that he will resign if Prime Minister Tihomir Oreshkovich and HDZ leader Tomislav Karamarko ask him to step down. SDP leader Zoran Milanovic told a news conference today that if only part of what has surfaced about Minister Tsernoya is true, then the prime minister should demand his resignation immediately. He said the opposition would give him 24 hours, and if that does not happen, they will initiate procedures to recall Tsernoya in parliament. <laughs> SDP leader Zoran Milanovic has also slammed the new deputy parliament speaker Ivan Tepes for taking part in a protest against the sanctioning of a TV station for airing hate speech. Milanovic described the rally, which Tepes attended, as a, quote, march of fascist sympathizers. Tepes says he was there to support his friends and veterans groups. <laughs> Prime Minister Tiho Oreshkovich, Central Bank Governor Boris Vujic and Finance Minister Zdravko Maric are meeting today with the new head of the IMF mission to Croatia, Khaled Sakra. The new finance minister said that he expected this to be a meeting where they could get to know each other and for IMF representatives to assess the new government's policy plan. <laughs> Croatian lawmakers are marking today International Holocaust Remembrance Day. On the 27th of January 1945, the Soviet Red Army freed Auschwitz, the largest and most notorious Nazi death camp. More than 1.3 million people, most of them Jews, were deported to the camp from all over Europe, and 1.1 million of them perished there. Sibona is hosting Lithuanian side Pieno in round five of FIBA's Europe Cup tonight. Sibona has a 2-2 record so far in Group S. Tip-off is at 6.30 p.m. Croatia's handball squad is playing their final group game at the European Handball Championships tonight against Poland. Chances of advancing to the semis are extremely slim, but still alive. In order for Croatia to survive, Norway must defeat France, and Croatia would have to beat Poland by 11 points. The match begins at 8.30 tonight. Today's forecast calls for increasing clouds this evening on the coast and areas adjacent to it. By the day's end, especially in the Rijeka area, there is a chance of rain. Central and eastern Croatia will remain sunny and dry for the rest of the day. There will be light to moderate southerly and southwesterly winds on the coast with a southeasterly in the far south. Afternoon highs will be unseasonably warm from 11 to 16 degrees Celsius. Temperatures will rise further in the interior on Thursday while clouds build in the mountains where there is a chance of rain and slightly cooler temperatures. Colder air will move into the interior on Friday. There will be scattered rain in the mountains and elsewhere. Saturday will be mostly dry, but low clouds and fog are likely to linger well into the day. On the coast, it will be cloudy in the coming days with a chance of light rain more frequently on the northern and central sections of the shore. 